Toronto is insane. Houses are, are too much money. If you're looking to move out of Toronto to somewhere cheaper, London might be a good option for you, okay? So today what we're going to do is we're going to look at homes that have sold in Toronto, and then we'll look at homes in London that sold for the same price. London's close enough to Toronto that it's like a day trip for family or whatever, but it's also far enough away that you're just out of Toronto. All that congestion and everything that you've come to hate over there. Um, my name is Ryan. I'm a real estate agent in London. I'm obviously biased. London's better. Um, if you are not going to move to London from Toronto, I hope this video is at least just entertaining for you. But if you are, feel free to reach out. That's my phone number right there on the screen. Uh, I know London like the back of my hand. If you want to move here, uh, people call me from YouTube all the time. You can as well, okay? So that's my phone number right there. Feel free to give me a shout. Okay, let's make this a game. So I'm going to show you a house in Toronto. I'm going to tell you all about it, and then you guess how much it costs. And then, of course, I'll show you the London version of that same price. Okay, let's go. So this one is actually located within the city limits of Toronto. It's in the North York area, right here on your map, okay? It's only 1,200 square feet above grade, so it's not huge. Three beds, one bathroom. Then it also has a finished basement with another two bedrooms and another bathroom down there, okay? And uh, you can, honestly, you could be on the 401 in five minutes from this house. So I, I think it's probably a pretty good location, although I don't know Toronto a ton. Um, what do you think this sold for? I'm going to give you five seconds, okay? This sold just under $2 million. Oh my lord. That is insane for something that, like, isn't a castle or doesn't have a movie theater in it. That's foreshadowing. Let's look at London. This is located in a luxury spot in the London area, just barely outside of London. Uh, it's huge. 5,000 square feet in this house, and yes, it does have its own movie theater, okay? It also backed onto a forest with a ravine that has turkeys and beaver and deer running around. For the privacy of the buyers, I can't share the exact location and the exact price, but I can tell you it sold for pretty much the exact same price as that house in Toronto. Okay, you go from average to luxury. And don't worry, we will work our way down to the like 500,000 range, something more affordable, more realistic for a lot of people. Uh, but first, let's slowly work our way down here. Let's go to Mississauga. So this one right here, like I said, this is in Mississauga. It's really close to Queen Elizabeth Expressway right in this general area. It had four bedrooms on the main floor and three full washrooms. It was updated nicely inside. So honestly, this isn't a bad house. This looked nice. Can you guess what this sold for? This sold for $1.5 million. Listen, it's a nice house, it's a nice area, but that's an insane amount of money. Let's look at what that insane amount of money gets you in London. So this home right here is around 3,500 square feet. It's more than double the size of the Mississauga house. It features a nice pool, a large garage, and fully finished basement. This home is located in one of the best school districts in Ontario. It really is. This sold for about the same price as that Mississauga home, one and a half million dollars. By the way, do you see this house right here? You will never guess how much this costs in Toronto and what you can get in London for the same price. Before we get to that though, we gotta go to Canada's Wonderland. Okay, so this home right here is located just 10 minutes from Canada's Wonderland in Vaughan. The kids, after school, can just take the bus right to the amusement park. You don't see them till nighttime, okay? You get the season pass, you're good to go. The only hint I'm going to give you on this is that it is cheaper than the last one we looked at, okay? So this is also the first two-story we've seen in the GTA. It's super close to your neighbors. Look at that. It's only 2,000 square feet above grade, too. So it's not, it's not a huge house, but it's not super tiny either. Four beds, three and a half bathrooms. Lock in your guesses. The actual retail price of your showcase is... $1.2 million. And there was a bidding war on this place. Now let's look at London. For the same price, you can get something like this. This brand new build is located in West London near Lambeth. It also has four bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. Everything is brand new, obviously. Okay, it's got engineered hardwood throughout. It's got a beautiful kitchen. And believe it or not, this house was actually about 20 grand cheaper than the one in Vaughan. Oh, speaking of cheaper, by the way, we will get to like the cheapest houses in London that I personally would live in. 
Um, that is on the way, okay? My name's Ryan. I'm a real estate agent in the London area. Again, I know London like the back I grew up here. I know I know it like the back of my hands, okay? If you are looking for a place to live in London, you're gonna move here, you're gonna buy a house. People call me all the time. Uh, that's my phone number right there. Feel free to reach out, okay? Right now, we're going to Brampton. All right, Brampton, Ontario, once a nice little suburb near Toronto, now just overpopulated as well, okay? Let's look at this one. 1,500 square feet. It features three bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms, and a one-car garage. This is South Brampton, not far from the 407, right around here. What do you think that this sold for? Well, I'll tell you. It sold for around $950,000, uh, a little under a million. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go down the 401 to fake London. This bad boy had a three-car garage. It's 14 years old, but doesn't look a day over 10. It had very large windows, letting in lots of light, and in a great school district, and like five minutes from the local ski hill, okay? This is almost the same price as that Brampton house. In the spirit of fairness, though, this was like 30k more, but still, just under a million dollars, just like that Brampton house. If you need help understanding London, understanding good places, uh, like good areas of the city and how much houses cost and what you can afford, again, I do this for a living. That's my phone number right there. Feel free to reach out and we can chat. Okay, so for the next one, we're going to stay in Brampton, okay? So this one right here, uh, I want you to really guess on, okay? This is uh, a semi-detached. There is obvious wear and tear on this house. It's, it wasn't in great condition. There's four bedrooms, one full bathroom, and then two half bathrooms as well. This is one of the bathrooms, okay? The whole house kind of looks similar to this. The actual retail price was $730,000. <laughs> So three quarters of a million. London, Ontario, what do you got for us? This home was around the 750 mark, so 20 grand more. Uh, it's located in Stony Creek up here, North London. It's, it's quite nice. Really good schools, really good parks all around there. Three bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms in this place. This one I thought was crazy. Like when you get down to this budget, this is where you really get more in, in London. Like this house... Falling apart in this house, same price pretty much, just different cities. And that's not even Toronto, it's Brampton. Crazy. Now, I've got to be honest, it's getting hard to actually find houses in the GTA for less than this price, so I, I got to switch to condos here, okay? So this condo is in Etobicoke. I like to call it Fifty Shades of Brown because it's a, it's, a, it's a tribute to brown, clearly. Um, large windows, though, lots of light, that's nice. Two bedrooms, one bathroom. This sold for around $600,000. Now, over in London, this was roughly the same price. It sold around Christmas. Four bedrooms, two full bathrooms. It's a bit out of date inside, but I picked this one because it's located in Byron. So this area here on your map, um, it's got great schools. It's got really low crime. It's got large, wonderful parks. Um, this sold for the same price, right around that 600000 mark. Okay, back into Toronto for our very last one. This is located in Scarborough. It's a one-bedroom condo, and I actually like the way it looks inside, to be honest. Um, it's a nice little place. Condo fees were almost $700 a month. There was a time in this country when that was a mortgage payment. <laughs> and it wasn't that long ago. But now, of course, it's the condo fees. But anyway, uh, this sold for $501,000. Now, for the first time in London in this video, I'm grabbing a condo. But it's not, it's not what you're picturing. It's, it's a townhome condo like this. This is located in a really good area. Every single London home that I, every single London home that I've given you is a place that I would personally live if I was shopping in that budget. Again, this is North London, Stony Creek area, good schools, and it's uh, well maintained by the owners. And the condo fees are less than half of the Toronto one. They're like 300 bucks a month. It's three bedrooms and it's two and a half bathrooms. And yes, that also sold right around 500,000. Listen, if, if you're looking to move out of Toronto and you're seeing how much you can afford in, in, in London uh, or you just want to pick my brain, ask me some questions. That is my phone number on the screen right there. Feel free to reach out. People do it from YouTube all the time. I have lots of other videos too. If you need more info, uh, you can just go on a binge watching journey right now, okay? Thanks for watching.